Aesis G and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss packaging, where to get your packaging from if you are planning to make your own products at home and have a home-based business. So I'm going to talk about some key things you need to consider when you are purchasing your packaging and where to purchase from and some of the go-to companies that I use to purchase my packaging. So as you can see, we're on this website. It's United States Plastic Corporation. This is my go-to website for my packaging because one, you can order one bottle at a time. They don't come in bulk. And number two, you can um, sample products. So like I said, if you buy one bottle at a time, you can look at the bottom, see the dimensions, figure out your product labels. And number two, you can look at the aesthetic. You can purchase different caps and different um, coverings for the jars to see what you would like on your bottle because remember you want your products to stand out on a shelf and not look like everyone else's products so you want people to want to come and purchase from you so this is the website that I use um, they do participate with um, credit business credit so if you got your DUNS number and you have your business credit, you can use your business credit to purchase your packaging from here. You just wanna make sure you pay them. So I'm gonna take you to um, some bottle options that you have. So I'm gonna type, um, look at bottles. And let's see, they have different bottles. So they have um, the thermal scientific bottles, they have health and beauty, bottles and jars they have jugs so say if you want to sell your product um in a gallon jug because you want to sell them to um a spa or you want to sell it to a salon you can sell it in bulk like this so this is a good option for you you just have to make sure you put the proper labeling on it and then they have different packaging you can use. So I know with, I don't remember the brand. Was it Camille Rose? She uses the Honey Bear for, I think that's a tinkler or a conditioner that she has. So that's that's different packaging you can use to make your product stand out on a shelf. Because I definitely remember when that came out a few years ago. And I was like, what is that? And that's interesting. So when you're designing your products, you want to figure out how creative you can be where you can get it to stand out on a shelf. They also have um, bottles with dispensing pumps. So this is good for a foundation, something like this. So let's click on something that we know is beauty. Um, let's click on the dispensing pump and see what we have. Okay, so this dispensing pumps can be anything with a, a gallon size jug with a pump. Again, this is good for salons. And then this is something that could be good for finishing spray for makeup. So that's cool. They have gold and then they have silver and then they have a complete silver one and then they have the mini airless pumps. So these are pretty cool things that you can use for skincare brands and makeup brands. Let's go back to the beauty jars. Let's see what else they have. So it took me to a, an array of things. So these, eye, these little droppers are good for people that have specific growth oils to have people's hair grow long. A lot of those droppers, um, people are attracted to packaging like that. Uh, another form of packaging that they offer is the bottle with the spray cap. So a lot of these things that you see here, unless the picture shows the spray cap in it, and, or the cap in it in general, it does not come with the bottle. So some of their bottles include caps. So that's something you keep in mind. For my packaging, I use um, white bottles. So I use the H HDPE Cosmo round bottles so I would use this one in white and this holds about eight ounces in this photo so the thing about these bottles when you do purchase one that the bottle itself will say it will hold four ounces or it'll hold two ounces or it'll hold 12 ounces but in reality it if an eight ounce if it's an eight ounce bottle it actually holds 10 ounces why because the fill line is right here so this is actually eight ounces of product so if you're making a product at home and you're trying to do the math and the measurements for your product and you're like well why do I have less product than what um 
what I measured out. It's because you're filling it up too high. So keep that in mind when you do package and bottle your own products at home. You either one need to have your labeling reflect and your price reflect that there is 10 ounces in this bottle as opposed to the eight ounces that the bottle promotes. So it's not actually eight ounces, it's probably 10 ounces if you were to order an eight ounce bottle. And the same for a four ounce bottle, if you buy four ounces, it's not actually four ounces, it's six ounces. So you make sure you put that on your label that the person is getting 10 ounces worth of product because you, a lot of times people are, get annoyed when you fill things up to the fill line and they're like, well, you didn't fill my bottle up all the way. And it's like, no, the fill line is eight ounces. So if you just include the extra two ounces within your pricing and on your packaging, you can avoid a headache later down the line when you are purchasing, um, when you are selling your product. Another thing to keep in mind, um, with now, I'm so glad that I kept my packaging simple and I was able to go onto other websites and look for similar packaging because it was hard to find packaging during um, the borders were shut down. A lot of this stuff is made overseas. So when you do pick out packaging, you have to find other companies that offer the same packaging um, for you. So this company is one that I use, but during they were sold out a lot of the bottles that I needed for my packaging. So another website that I did use was SKS Bottle. Now SKS doesn't have as much variety as the USP website, but they do have options for you. So for instance, if you want it to be different and you want it to buy this paperboard packaging, so a lot of people use these paperboard packaging for like de deodorant. And when you order stuff like this, you have to make sure you find a backup website just in case this product is sold out. So as you can see, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, right? So what happens if you have orders coming in and you can't fulfill the orders because this package, packaging is out of stock? You need to make sure when you are picking your packaging that you can order packaging from at least three different websites before you finalize your complete packaging design for your products. So I wouldn't order this cardboard packaging because I have not seeing that packaging anywhere else and it's business yeah you know you want your stuff to be nice and you want it to stand out on your shelf but if you don't have the the capital to back up a large order quantity so you can have stuff stocked in the and uh, stocked up for you to use later down the line just in case another global pandemic happens you know you're going to be out of luck and then you have to change your packaging and unfortunately i even had to do it myself to I had to change some of my packaging. I used to have the lids where you could open the top um, of the container for so people can put their hand right into in the container as opposed to the twist off cap. But because it was out of stock, I just had to go back to the twist off cap. So I had to change my packaging design on my website. It's a it's a domino effect, and if the packaging label does not fit the new package that you purchase you have to make new labels so these are things to consider when you're designing everything because you want it to be an easy transition business is hard and you want to think about these small things now so it'll be less of a problem for you in the future so um, this is the website that i do use it's um i order my bottles from here um i do order some jars from here but they with their website, you have to buy in bulk. You can't just buy individual things. So, for instance, if I wanted to buy, let's see, caps and closures, right? Let's do a brush cap. I don't know what brush caps are, right? You click on the brush cap. Now, on on the um, S on the USP website, you can buy each brush, brush cap individually. But on this website, you have to buy a bag of 144. And it's never like an even number. <laughs> it's never 150. It's never 200. It's never 100. It's always a random number, 144. So that can throw some things off when you're trying to balance, well, how many caps do I need versus how many bottles that I need. So keep that in mind when you order some from something like this website. 
um, when you order your packaging. Another website that has came from um, for me during a clutch. Another website that I have used during COVID is SPR, Cosmetic Packaging Resource. Now, this website was the only website that had any of the bottles that I needed stocked. Like every website last year during COVID, during 2020, all of the packaging was out of stock. And this is the only website that had the packaging that I needed to re for to make my product so I can ship it out to customers because people are asking me when things will be back in stock. And I honestly didn't have an answer for them because I'm waiting on my wholesale supplier to bring the bottle. So this is another bottle company you can use. But again, you want to look at what they offer in comparison to the other three. So I'm giving you three companies to start out with to pick out some packaging. Look at what they have. Like they have droppers and aluminum bottles and and jars. This is cool. This is a package that you can add onto, um, onto your product line, but make sure you look up and you see you look up and you see if you can find that exact same aluminum aluminum bottle on another website. If you can't, I wouldn't recommend buying it because you always want to have a backup plan. So they do not have that aluminum bottle. So although it's cool looking, you don't want to depend on one website to have all the supplies you need for your brand. So these are the bottles that I use for Curly Temple. So these are HDPE White Cosmo bottles. And the next size is 24410. So the reason why I choose the HDPE bottles is because they hold up very well in the mail. So if you're doing skincare or if you're doing hair care products, I definitely would recommend getting these bottles. The only problem with these bottles, they only come in two colors. This is the natural bottle right here, and then it comes in white. I love these because they, they hold up in the mail. So I can use a bubble wrap bag and tape the neck up, and it's easy for me to ship out without having problems. I used to use these bottles, the PET um, bottles, I used to use them in blue. Now they're fine as well and they do, people do use them, but I find that they're not as strong and they're not hard. So if you're planning to ship your products anywhere, which you probably will, especially if you're going to plan to wholesale or you're going to ship directly to your customers, you want to make sure that your packaging is strong and intact because the post office, unfortunately, UPS, post office, FedEx, they they toss stuff around and I even talked to an employee and they said sometimes it's not even them it's the machinery that they use that busts up the packages so you have to be conscious of what type of packaging you're purchasing and then is it going to hold up through the mail so like I said use this website United States Plastic Corp to buy one thing at a time buy one of these bottles at a time feel how hard it is Feel, um, tighten the cap around it. See if it's squishy or not. Because if it's too squishy, your bottles are going to bust and you're going to get a customer that's going to complain. And we want to try to avoid that. So how I avoided that issue is um, I use these bottles. And also with the white bottles, you can actually fill the product up to the 8 ounce line and not get a complaint because it's a white bottle. So people can't generally see the contents inside. So that leaves less of a headache. When you buy something clear, you have to make sure you fill that all the way up to the top because someone's going to complain. So to save yourself a headache later down the line, you know, really really think about your packaging and what you're willing to deal with. There's nothing wrong with this. I've used it. It's fine. But I know a lot of my orders were damaged in the mail. So I just kind of stayed away from it. But you may have a completely different aesthetic than me. So do what's best for you. Just keep in mind the pros and cons of having either or. <laughs> so one thing you can do to really make your brand stand, stand out on a shelf is to play around with different caps. You do not have to have a regular basic white cap or a black cap or a flip up cap. There's a variety of different caps. You just have to make sure the cap fit, fits the size of your bottle. So generally you want to try to get a bottle that has a 24 4 10 neck because there's a lot of cap options. If you get a different um, 
neck size, then the cap options you'll have will be very limited. So try to keep that in mind when you're picking out your packaging. And so let's look up some caps. So I just put in cap 24 410. So if you're looking for a spray bottle, trigger spray here instead of a cap. Um, if you are looking for a, a, a eyedropper, you would put 24 410 eyedropper but we're, we're specifically looking for caps so here are the variety um, of different caps there's the aluminum cap here so these are cool I see a lot of organic brands use this this is um, this is another cap you can use that flips up this is these are the caps I used to use and you can see the difference in prices so like the aluminum cap is 42 cents and then the black cap is 14 cents so I use the gold caps so let's see if we can see the gold caps oh okay here are my gold caps so I use there's a shiny gold and then there's a brush gold so I use brush gold caps for my bottles and then you can also get caps with lining so say if you um, have like a liquid and you want to cover it up and make sure nothing spills you can put a liner in it so there's some caps that come with liners you just have to know your option this is a silver cap with a black top that wasn't around when I was looking for caps that's pretty cool and then they have the silver brush brush silver with a white cap on top and then they have a brush silver with a clear cap on top so you can like really go out out and be creative you get the flip up caps and then we have the pumps they have the gold pumps and the silver pumps with the black top it's you you can really get creative so buy one at a time um buy one label at a time and then play around with the packaging you don't it's not a rush you just want to take your time you want to fall in love with what you have um, but and you want to make sure that you cross check you go on this website and you look on another website to make sure that they have the packaging you need so you're not just locked down from purchasing um, what you need for your products just on one site you want to have at least two sites even better three sites where you can order your packaging from so I hope this video was helpful I wish I had something like this that really go over what type of packaging I needed for my beauty brand unfortunately there was nothing out there that I had to search on my own so I'm trying to help you with some steps just make sure you research 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 make sure you look up everything make sure you test out everything do not waste money take your time your brand will be up and running no worries you just have to take your time and not waste a lot of money so if you enjoyed this video please hit, hit the like button below visit my website smh smhbranding.com and also my hairline website mycurlytemple.com if you have any questions about branding or building your business please shoot me an email at info at smhbranding.com thank you so much for watching